Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Natalie and I'm an online business owner. I'm also an entrepreneurship coach. I help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start up their business and start getting paid for what they're already really good at. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we're gonna be talking about what are the must haves? What do you need as you're starting your online business? So let's go ahead and get into this video. So number one, um, this is not required, but I suggested um, it's an EIN number. And so this is just an employer identification number. Um, essentially, it's a nine digit number for your business. So kind of think about how you as a person probably have a social security number and it's nine digits, right? So I see an EIN number kind of like a social for your business. It really identifies with the government who your business is. And it's really helpful because when you're out and about like opening a bank account or doing things in the name of your business you don't have to give out your social you can just give out your EIN number right so I suggest getting it um, you can get it from irs.gov it's really simple process and it's also free so go do that ASAP um, to start really running as a business um, number two is a business bank account okay so listen you guys when it's gonna be time for you guys to do your taxes and start to really just run your business you want to have your business funds separate from your personal funds. You don't wanna be dipping into your personal savings to spend money for your business. You wanna be able to, and I like having a business bank account because it keeps my funds separate. So when it's time for me to do my taxes, I don't have to keep all of my receipts because I can just go to my business account and I can do all my write-offs, right, by looking at my business account because everything from that account, I only use it for business. So I think it's gonna be really smart um, for you guys to open up a separate account, whether it's a business account or like a regular checking account but you want to have a separate account for your business it'll be really helpful later on as you guys are starting to like operate your business and starting to purchase things and even needing to accept money um, to have it separate from like your rent and your other bills um, it'll just be wise to have a separate account for your business the next one is you need to have social media. So I meet so many business owners who I coach and they tell me, well, I don't like social media and I'm not on social media and that's cute and that's cool. But if you really want to run an effective business and have free marketing, you guys, you need social media accounts. I suggest having Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, you guys. Me here on YouTube is how I started my business. Literally, it all started from a YouTube video and now, you know, we're on the road to six figures, but it's because I'm connecting with my audience. And so you guys need to have social media like yesterday for your business. Um, I always suggest having personal and business accounts. Like I have a personal Instagram and a business Instagram, a personal Facebook and a business Facebook. And I just have my YouTube channel as just one YouTube channel. But having those different entities, it helps me to connect with my audience on different levels, right? As a personal person, but also on the business side. And so I hit, I hit different people different ways on the different accounts do you feel me and so it'll be an easy way to market your business for free um through social media and most of your audience probably is already on social media so you need to get an account like yesterday and start connecting with your audience that way what you need next is a business email this, this can be a literal business email i suggest g suite g suite is really cool because it's just you're able to use your domain so i have like contact at natalienicole.com i have info at truecostyles.co so i have different business emails through g suite and it is five dollars a month if you use squarespace it is free for the first year but um if not then it's five dollars a month however you don't have to have g suite you don't have to have a distinctive business email you can also just have a separate email account that you use for your business emails you need to have a separate email for conducting business so that you're not forgetting emails that you're not losing emails so that it's not getting confusing or overwhelming you want to have a distinctive place that you can check to see what emails are coming in for your business and so even if you want to just get a separate gmail account and have like contact truecoastdows at gmail.com. It's not as professional, but it's also not terrible and it serves its purpose. So it really just depends on your budget. Um, I suggest having a distinctive G Suite or business email. Um, that's what I suggest, but I also say, you know, go at the beat of your own drum and do whatever you can afford. You're making the rules here. You are your business owner, not me, okay? So do you. The next thing that you guys need is an email list for interested 
customers or interested clients. You need to have a place that you're able to directly contact those who are interested in your business. I say that your email list is like the gold. It's like the money gold. Um, people who I talk to through YouTube and coaching, they know that I always say that social media is for brand awareness, to build recognition of your brand, but email is to get sales. Email is to get the actual money, to get the actual bacon, right? So you need to have an email list set up um, so that you're able to contact those who are actually interested in your business and I recommend MailChimp as an email server to contact or to set up your email list. Um, there are many others out there but I just recommend MailChimp and I just use the free account for MailChimp. You guys need to have pictures. You need to have clear pictures of either yourself or your product or whatever it is that you're going to be selling. Um, if you're going to be selling a service and you're selling yourself. So you need to have clear pictures that you guys can post on social media, that you can put on your website, that you can put in your emails. Um, that's going to be the bread and butter um, of your business. Something as simple as pictures because if it's low quality, people are not going to buy. My thing is either have good quality pictures or none at all. Good quality or none at all and that's just that on that because you don't want to um, seem unprofessional or seem like you're low budget for having low quality pictures okay the next one is you need to have a plan a plan you need to have a plan in place do you have a clear plan on how you're gonna actually make money in your business all right so I, I say don't start a business just because it seems exciting it seems like it's gonna be a fun time but have a plan in place when you start how are you gonna start marketing yourself how are you gonna sell that product how much are you gonna sell that product for how much money will you make every month like you want to have a plan in place now already foresighted of how you're going to make money in your business if you can't foresee how you're going to make money with your business idea then don't start that business idea that's just going to be a hobby right not an actual business and so you want to be able to see how can you make money from that business and so i really help people in my coaching services take what they're already good at and make money from it and so what i'm telling all of you is as you're starting your businesses or as you're thinking about starting a business can you foresee that business bringing you income? If you can't, then you need to stop and actually understand what you're going to do in that business to make money before you actually start the business. Okay. What you need next is an actual website. So some people say you don't need a website and social media can be enough. But what I know for a fact is that some people are not going to want to have to reach out to you to purchase your product or your service, right? Some people will connect with you via social media and some people just want to go to your website, right? So I think if you don't have a website, you're also missing out on potential customers and you really want to have a place that you own where you can clearly state what you do, who you are, who you serve and how much they have to pay you, right? So you want to have a separate website so I recommend Shopify Squarespace or Wix I use literally all three of them I have an actual video where I explain which one you should use and for why I'll leave that video down below um, but you definitely want to have a website that you can kind of explain who you are and what you do and what your services are so that your audience does not have to actually talk to you to get to start paying for you you know what I'm saying so me having my website and having products on my actual website it helps me to make money in my sleep where I can wake up and I see that I'm made sales that would not be possible if I didn't have a website right where someone can actually go to a place and give me their coins but because I have that set up um, and I have my YouTube channel and I link my website under every video you know as people are watching my videos late at night doing research they're purchasing my products and I'm able to make money in my sleep I actually make the most money you guys in my sleep and I really think it's like a faith thing like God's like let me show you what I can do right without you actually doing that much but you know so long story short get a website you guys um it doesn't have to be super expensive again they vary i would say check out the video down below about the differences between squarespace shopify and wix to see what you should get but um i always suggest to my coaching clients that you want to try out all of them try the free trials of all of them until you understand what works best for you um and then just go with that one so definitely get a website like right now okay the next thing that you need to have is a planner or some type of agenda. So you want to have some type of agenda or something that you can write in so that every single day you have a plan for your business. So as an entrepreneur, it can be really, really difficult to see daily what you should be doing and daily what, what needs to get done to get to that money, right? So this kind of goes hand in hand with the last one where I said you need to have a plan in place for how you're going to make money. When you have that plan in place, you really want to get specific as of 
this day I'm going to do this. This day I'm going to do this video, send out this email, upload this product, do this discount, send out this email to my email list. You want to really have an agenda or a planner in place so that you're able to map out every single day. This is going to help you to stay organized. It's going to help you to stay on track. It's going to help you to not give up because you have things to do every day. If I didn't have an agenda, you guys, I probably would be like, I don't know what I would be because it's easy you guys to get discouraged daily but because I have an agenda and I have set things to do every single day I just kind of do my to-do list every day so definitely have a planner or agenda in place that you're able to just keep track and stay focused and not give up also what you need another thing that you guys need is like faith courage and persistence like as you're starting a new business you need to have faith courage and persistence literally in that order because in the beginning or as you're getting started it may seem like i can't do this like this is too big for my for me but let me be the one to tell you that you can do this i'm someone who i literally started from a desire i started from a desire and i had the desire to have a new business and then it turned into this i'm doing this now full time y'all if you guys are new to my channel i'm doing i have my business full time 100 percent, and i'm like making way more than i did when i was working in my full-time job and but it all started with a desire and i had to have faith because yeah it seems impossible right we're doing something completely brand new that we've never done before so it can definitely seem like it's so far-fetched like for me or for you like you may think for me i was like okay i'm the one in the family who's like a nerd right i'm a math nerd i'm a geek um, I was not very creative or I didn't think so so I didn't see how I would have a business but I'm really good with the facts but I realized where I belong here on YouTube I can share the facts with you guys and I'm still owning a business in the process so you know no matter what where you are in life period just know that it is possible for you to have a business which is why I coach the way that I coach because I want everybody to see that no matter what you are good at you can make money from it because I make money from what I'm good at running my mouth teaching and fashion by the way, this is one of my new pieces at my boutique. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, you guys, I have an online boutique as well. I also have a book and so many other things that I do. And so it's possible for you as well. Um, I've only been in the game for a little over a year. Um, and I quit my job within like eight months of business. So it's definitely possible for you as well. So you need faith. We really need to persist through it because even when it gets difficult, the thing is like fear comes up and fear happens, but you have the ability to overcome fear. And I think overcoming fear is such a powerful thing because what I've noticed is that fear comes up at like every level of business. When I have a new idea and I want to venture out into that idea, I have a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear, but I now know that what I overcame my fear that time that last time so i can do it again now and so it's just going to be a continual faith walk if you commit to the journey so you guys can do it 1000 percent. so hopefully this was a helpful video for those who are aspiring business owners my hope and goal is that you guys are able to start your businesses with confidence and starting it smoothly and get to getting to the money at the end of the day I want you guys to get to the money, right? Get to the money and there's money to be made out here. Are you going to be one of the ones who make the money or not? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.